Now, I'm always happy when there's a cheese board around, so I thought I would make you a cheese board today. And instead of the typical cheese board when you've got some blue cheese, a bit of cheddar, a bit of camembert or brie, I'm going to really highlight camembert. And I'm not just gonna place it on the board, I'm going to marinate it, or more importantly, bake it with red wine and port. It is delicious and I always remember it from Normandy in France. I mean, they love their camembert, the home of the camembert. So let's replicate it today. First of all, we need a pot with a little bit of port. So about a quarter of a cup of port for some sweetness. And we wanna bring that to the boil. Put that over here with some red wine. So about a cup of red wine. And this is where you need to allow this to bubble away and reduce by a quarter. We want it to start to become syrupy and we want to cook off the alcohol. So you need to allow that just to sit there, bubble away and then cool down slightly. And we need garlic. So we're just going to just wipe a little bit of the garlic on top. That's enough to give this camembert a scent, a beautiful aroma of the garlic. A few sprigs of parsley, and I'll take the stalks off. We just want the leaves for this one. A little bit of thyme, and I'll pick off some of the leaves there, and then we'll finely chop it. Now we'll wait for this wine to start to bubble away, which it is now, and then completely reduce and cool, and then we'll get onto the fun part which is pouring the red wine all over this delicious camembert. Now this wine's cooled down, so for the cheese, I'm just gonna place it in its lid just to make sure we've got some extra protection. And then with a small knife, we want to make around 10 incisions. And now with the wine, we're just going to pour it very carefully over the top. And the wise thing to do is just get yourself a little baking tray like this and place it on there because it can get a little messy. And then just with your hands, gently press it in so the cheese absorbs that delicious red wine. Now you just have to give it a little bit of time between each drink, if you like. You can't rush these things. And once it's absorbed almost all of that red wine, I'm going to sprinkle on some of those herbs and then we'll bake it in a really hot oven. So 200 degrees for about 10 minutes. Oh, it smells so good. Look at that. It's got a good wobble to it, so it's all melted inside. I'm gonna place it just at the end of this board here. And we've got just a few extra herbs here, so I'll just gather that and sprinkle over the top. And for the crackers, I like a selection of a few crackers. I've got some wafer crackers, and I've got lavosh and some little baguettes. And the reason I use a combination of crackers is because I like the different textures. These ones are really thin. For the lavosh, they've got a little bit more thickness to them. And for a real crunch, I've got some baguettes here. And just to make it extra special, I thought I would add just a few fresh grapes to make it the ultimate cheese board. And who doesn't love the marriage of red wine and cheese? It was totally meant to be. I'm not sharing this with anyone. This is all for me. Mm -mm -mm.